What is up guys, it's Garrett, and today I am going to be showing you how to make your very own crucible tongs in order to hopefully save you some money. And to start you're going to need your supplies that are shown on the screen now or what I used. It's not really a science, you can use whatever you have, just follow the general process. Now to start you're going to want to measure off about 6 inches off the bottom of your steel rods and uh, cut this, these pieces off. And these will, pieces will be the ones that are actually gripping your crucible. I chose six inches because it, it's big enough to grip most one through five kilogram crucibles. And next you're going to want to measure about a foot above the other side of your steel rod and uh, put, uh, drill a hole through that as this will be the pivot point for your, for your tongs. Next you're going to want to fire up your forge that I'm sure many of you have if you're watching this channel or perhaps can build. I might make a, a, a project of that later. But you're going to want to heat up your smaller sections of steel in order to be able to forge them. And what you're going to do is you're going to place your hot steel in here, take a, a, a gripping tool and proceed to start bending it uh, into a, a semicircle. Um, similar in circumference to the crucibles you're going to be lifting with. And there is a little bit of trial and error in the process. As you can see, I made my tong a little too small for my crucible that I'm going to be lifting. Throughout the process, I was wondering what this yellow uh, stuff was all over my forge. Then I realized that I made the mistake of buying zinc plated steel. I would highly recommend not buying plated steel as it is the zinc gases are toxic. Now once the first section is bent to uh, the correct size, the second one is quite easy as you just, as you're seeing, hammer it uh, into shape using the first one as a guide. Now don't get me wrong, I love casting, but there's just something special about working with steel. It's the, the, the feel of when you're hammering it, and it just, knowing you have a 2,000 degree, give or take, piece of metal in your hand, it, it's quite fun. I would recommend anybody with a forge, give it a shot at least. Now with both pieces of steel bent to the correct shape, you're going to want to drill a hole right in the middle of it. It doesn't matter if you're a little bit off, but try and get as close as you can. And secondly, if it is slightly too big still, or not correctly bent, you could usually do a little bit of work in cold. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the long rods that you have and place them into the forge to heat them up. Uh, 
only the ends, of course. Um, but you'll see what I mean in a second, but you're going to rotate them about 90 degrees on both sides of the bar. Now you can't really see it in the video here, but the side I am doing currently is the handle side. You can determine which side will be your handle side and which side will be the one going into the fire um, because the pivot hole that you drilled previously in the middle of the two rods will be closer to the, the tong side, uh, the side that's going to be in the forge, than it will be to your handle uh, side. This here is an optional step, um, and since I used a zinc plate as steel, some of the zinc oxidized, and I just wanted to get it off of my handles, so I just used a steel brush and uh, took it off. Now what you're going to want to do is drill a small hole into the tong side of your steel rod, about the diameter of the bolts you will be using. Alright, now that we've got everything set up and drilled, um, now that there's left to do is uh, assemble it, so let's get to it. Alright, to start you're going to want to take your smaller bolts and make sure that the nuts are facing outward so that they're not touching your crucible. This will just make it sit better. And you're going to want to probably double nut unless you have small nylon uh, nylock nuts and then I would recommend using those. Um, as long as you don't leave it in the forge too long as the nylon could melt. So, but if you don't want to I'll risk it, just uh, use double, just double nut it and uh, tighten it down pretty hard. Next, you're going to want to take your larger bolt and your two pieces of steel and put the washer in between them and then hook the, the two pieces of steel together as seen with uh, your bolt and your nylock nut. You're going to want to leave your bolt a little loose so that there's a little give in your tongs so that you can adjust ever so slightly um, your grip. Now as you can see here, my forge is a little small and my tongs don't fit in super well. So what you may want to do is cut off the excess bolt, um, as you'll see here in a minute, or in a second, and then also probably bend your, your tongs a little bit wider so they get a closer grip to the crucible. And this will just bring everything together to be closer and fit into your smaller forges. Alright, and the finished product here guys. Here you have it, the tongs. And as you can see, they do in fact lift my crucible. And so this is a lot safer than if you've seen it in my previous videos, me using um, barbecue tongs. This is a little bit safer, and uh, especially if I'm using a lot of... Uh, a metal in the crucible or particularly copper those copper is oftentimes quite scary to lift with uh, with the barbecue tongs but I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching if you would consider liking and subscribing it really would help me out and mean the world to me have a wonderful day guys